It's always hard to tell on the first day, but I think we're gonna get a lot pretty quickly just based on the first reactions of the group. They're all really excited, and that's you know kind of the biggest jump start you can ask for in this situation. Can you Jocelyn? No, she's Jocelyn. Okay, and you're Aaliyah. Aaliyah. All right. And what's your name? Keelan. On the first day, all we do is we talk about what kind of music everybody likes, what experience everybody has if they play music, if they sing all that kind of stuff, and we'll watch some videos on YouTube and try and figure out what, every, what kind of song everyone wants to make. Oh, oh okay. I'm an old school wow. type of person. That's, I ain't gonna go cool. to the rap now, okay. but I love Patty. <laughs> that's cool, that's awesome. Um, Nicki Minaj, Lana Del Rey, and Fetty Wap. Uh, oh, and I hear her? Whitney Houston. Yes! And everybody was on a similar page um, in terms of like what artists they liked and what kind of song they wanted to make, so when you have like consensus on the first day like that it definitely makes it a lot easier to get a tune that everybody's happy with. Song. Fun yeah. party dance beat. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that one better. Okay. Awesome. It's hard to say how quickly it'll move, but I think we're gonna try to just jump into the lyrics uh, starting tomorrow and see what we get. We're gonna be back here every day this week and we're gonna be here tomorrow at the same time. I think you guys should start thinking about maybe, you know, some basic ideas of what you want this fun, dancey song to be about. And you can all come in with ideas and we can start talking about the lyrics. And, you know, we'll find it's a lot easier to build on top of that, too, once we get going with that. So start thinking, you know, about what you want this song to be about. No wrong ideas. Uh, we can all collaborate on there from that. Yesterday at, like, Maybe the verses could be like talking to those people that went through that in the hospital and like some of the things you wanted to say. So like people that were going through these really hard times and you know, telling them that, you know, it didn't matter what they looked like because, you know, they're beautiful on the inside. Is that part of what, what beauty means to you, <coughs> you say is like being yourself is part of that? Okay. It's not a pretending to be something that you're not. If, like, if, you, right. if, you're, if you're like so-called uh, pretty, but then you have a nasty attitude, you're not you're pretty like, at all. You're not, you're mm -hmm. not. It's, you have to have all two or you just are. So a lot of beauty is attitude. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot. Okay. Cool. I feel like we got a lot of we got stuff to work off of. Next week we should have the first demo ready to present. Uh, yeah. I think that's the timeline we've been given. So by the end of the week, yeah, we'll have pretty much a finished song that'll just need to be worked on by the, by Glenn and Rashad. Don't worry, take baby steps. We both got a blast, don't have to hide them like the rest, no matter what they say. You belong. I guess what I'm playing here would be maybe like the piano. Cause I feel like if there's guitar, it just has to be like some funk rhythm. Kind of start like a ballad and then kick into um, kind of like a like a dance jam, like sugar a little bit. And then, to see the guys come uh, over, you know, and work the song out and, and just me kind of be a fly on the wall and help it. It was just an amazing, cool experience. You know, everybody worked together. Everybody has different styles. That's the coolest thing about it. Like I like listened to like just like 10 seconds of each song and like uh -huh. started playing guitar. Uh -huh. I feel like I got some cool ideas that I came in with and Corey has like, like already I'm kind of thinking that like the rhythm of your part, cause like I didn't have any rhythm ideas. On the, the second half of each of those lines of the chorus where you're like, Beauty mm -hmm. is attitude. Like I feel like you could you could have some fun with the second half of that melody because you're doing the beauty the same way every time. Yeah. Like, Cause beauty is attitude. I'll I'll just do like up through the first chorus and then we can start to pick and choose different parts. Cause beauty is attitude. Beauty is everything you do. Do, 
and everybody worked together really seamlessly and played off each other's strengths. And um, that's what I enjoyed about it, man. And, and it's a great topic too, man. The kids came up with a cool, you know, beauty is an attitude. I, I dug it. I like that. I like that really like punchy, like beauty. Is everything beauty? That was nice. That beauty. Moment, that yeah. Was nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's real punchy. Beauty. Is attitude and beauty. Is everything you do. It's attitude and beauty, it's attitude, beauty, it's attitude, beauty, it's attitude, beauty, it's everything you do, babe. It's attitude, beauty, it's attitude, beauty, it's attitude. I'm standing with you. It's very catchy. Very catchy. Yeah, I just caught on with the lyrics right now. I'm feeling it. Two thumbs, four thumbs, five, I don't care. All thumbs. All right, let's dig in specifics. What instruments? Everybody likes all the instruments? Yes. Okay. So we can throw that, we're, everything that you guys tell us. We're gonna send right to the producers so they have you guys notes for when they're mixing it. So I'm gonna tell them Bongo's first one. Oh, okay. what would a female, like, what would a female <laughs> artist sound like? I'm not yeah, a very good drummer. So that's drummer. that's the that was what we were talking about. Okay. Definitely hearing a female voice. If you were like, are you talking like Jennifer Hudson, like that? Like uh, for that kind of song, no. I wouldn't okay. hear Jennifer. So if you were picking, if you were picking the singer, who would you want it to sound like? Um, I'll spell it out. B-E-Y-O-F-E-E. Yeah, just that always right on that beat. Beauty! Yeah. <laughs> beauty! Is attitude and beauty? Is everything you do, babe? Awesome. Sweet. Great job. Wow. Then you better work. <laughs> there you go. You better work. You better shout. You better let the you inside of you get out. <laughs> when it came together, it just came together. Man. I did it all in one night. I think it was I spent a good three, four hours just sitting there listening to the same song over and over again. That's the best part for a mixing engineer. My main focus was her vocal um, because you know, without a song, without you know, in any song, without. A, hit vocal, you don't have a great song. So it was um, really, really important for me that for her to come across comfortable and sound comfortable. So light reverb, you know, I'm, you know, light compression, but she has, uh, she had a natural tone about her that I didn't want to lose. It's really great voice. I was um, cautious not to make it sound auto tuny You know, I wanted her to sound a natural vibe. It's so subtle, but I actually pitched down her vocal. You <laughs> barely hear it. The hip hop chants I have in here, it's like a, a yep in the background. It creates a. Yeah, that right there you're hearing right there. Yep, yep. The coolest part about the song was actually the choir. I believe Corey recorded the choir in, in, on his iPhone. And he sent it to me, and just when I put that in there, that's when really it started getting magical and it came to life. I think middle school students are the best lyricists in the world. Um, and this is because at 12, 13 years old, they are going through a lot of changes. Um, and they don't really understand those changes and they don't really know what's going on. Um, and typically what happens is, is they act in ways that we just don't understand and we all as adults kind of just assume, well, they're middle school students, I have, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Um, but at the Dick and Jane Project, we tell ourselves, you know what, like, they have amazing thoughts and amazing ideas that are inside of their head. We, it is our job to get those concepts, to get those ideas, to get those lyrics out of their head and into, into a song. 
Take baby steps. I would I would define beauty. I mean, like in your own way. I mean, like some people would be like, oh, I have to put on makeup to show my beauty, or I have to do all this stuff to show my beauty. I feel like nobody should have to put on makeup to cover your flaws. Like Jocelyn said when he was writing a song, your scars yeah. is your flaws. So you know, what I mean, I feel like no woman should have to put on makeup to show that you're pretty. Just rub it off. I mean, like it's not a big deal. If anything, I would throw all the makeup out. <laughs> but when we were planning our lyrics we were thinking about like cancer patients and how they wear wigs to cover up their ball spots and like you know and uh, when we shared our experiences and I shared my experience how I went to the hospital to visit cancer patients and I saw those girls wearing makeup because they say that they don't like people to see them like that and they shouldn't be doing that. I really think it's time to start thinking outside the box. And I think the arts can really play a huge role in still feeding into all of the academic needs and the academic courses, but giving these students you know, a, a well-rounded education. Um, and these, these experiences give those kids the confidence and interest in learning. It's attitude, beauty, it's attitude, beauty.